hello my friends here we are kicking it back off on arc official pvp i'm doing a bit of raising oh honestly it always feels like i'm raising something uh, i've recently taken over a few breed lines so i'm trying to raise up some ffas for everyone to use and i've been going around putting micro raptors on aggressive um around all our bases since i've been breeding them as well uh the meat and potatoes of today's video we go over to ragnarok for some pvp a good old-fashioned blue obby ruckus uh, yeah, before we get stuck in, if you could take a second, hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out a lot. I hope you enjoy. Let's get into the video. I've gotten my first mutation on the Capros. We're now up to 390 melee from 375. Uh, I mutated on a female, so I've been breeding her with our male, hoping to get the high HP from the male and the new mutated melee stat from the female onto a new male so I can raise them and keep going for more mutations. So I'm raising a couple of Mega Shellons, because I don't have any. And these guys are kind of a pain to raise, man. They have the same 9% imprint as Gigas do. They eat a ton of berries. I probably should have waited for a 2x weekend to raise these guys, but, you know, I'm a rebel, so I'm raising them. Uh, I like to do all my raising on Genesis, personally, because I'd rather run missions and then just buy the meat and berries than actually farm it. Because, you know, you get points and extra loot, and I just find it's easier for me. Also, have you taken a close look at the Mega Shellons? Their square-shaped teeth? Oh, my God, it kills me. Probably the derpiest dinos in Ark. So I'm cloning up more level 1 Arthros so I can keep my mutation breeding going. Uh, as I'm sure anybody who's used a clone or an arc before will know, you gotta kinda wiggle the dino around a bunch to find that sweet spot where it'll let you clone it. Since you can stack the cloners, I gotta whip it around and see which cloners are registering, and then do it again until all of them are cloning. Kinda tedious, but needs to be done. So you're probably thinking, scum, why are you wasting your time making die? Well, my friends, let me tell you. It's not just so I can be the most stylish chump in the cave, which I obviously already am. I mean, that's part of it, I guess. But mostly it's because a lot of my stuff has been going missing, aka getting yoinked by other tribe mates. So I decided to paint all my tech stuff green. That way, anybody who wants to steal any of my things, they'll have to find soap and wash it first, which I'm sure most people won't bother doing. So it's just an extra safety measure to protect my gear. And I look fly as fuck, let's be real. All right, I'm over here on Extinction, soloing another 50K Ellie Vane, and the most annoying thing happens. And this isn't the first time this has happened. So I'm like three or four waves in, everything's going peachy, I got my mantis this time with the saddle and a pick, I'm ready to harvest this shit. And then, as you will see, I jump up with my mana, and the game lags out. And my mana just keeps going higher and higher into the sky. I'm sure we've all experienced this glitch in Ark once or twice, but because I got too far away from the vein, it despawned. Man, this is the main reason why soloing these veins can be a challenge. Not because of the dino spawns, because of lag and bad game mechanics. Alright, now we can get into some fun PvP action. Me and a few tribe mates go over to Ragnarok server, just look for some PvP and have some fun, and we find it. This is a great way to practice PvP and get better at the game, especially on Ragnarok, this map in particular, because there isn't really any super OP base spots for Alpha Tribes to build up in, so it's kind of just become a PvP map. Players only really go here to PvP, and that's exactly why we are here. 
So I hope you enjoy. We basically just spawned into a, a, battle, a fight going on. It's probably always like this on Rag. I don't know. I don't actually come here very often. But uh, yeah, second we spawned in, we could barely even get tribed up before uh, people were on us. Look at that that bloodstalker out in the water, eh? Just, just waiting. Also, sorry about uh, you can't. The comms weren't recorded. You can't hear my Discord. And I don't know, man. This happens every now and again. It's pretty frustrating. So I'm uh, apologies for that. Got one of them there. So I get picked here by a Bloodstalker, and my Z's glitch out. You can see I had them in my hand, and I go to click, and then it just starts punching. I don't know what happened there. That was kind of frustrating. All right, so this, I believe, is maybe a different rag server. Um, and there was people doing, like, a defend the castle. I think he was a Twitch streamer. So he had set up in the castle there and had some loot or something and was inviting players to come try and raid him. So we came and ended up just fighting down here on the water instead. That was a good time. Oh, they popped a giga. Everybody bounce. Owls on official have an insane amount of HP. There we go, got their mana. Get some stam real quick. Killed their owl there. Which 
checking for some loot. Might as well grab an extra flak set. Ooh, better flamethrower. Check down the sleeping bag. Might as well. Switch the good flamethrower out with my prim one. I mean, it's a, it's a ramshackle one, so it's just an okay one, but better than prim. Got one. Must have been a player right there. I killed him with my dash. Gigas popped. So it's time to dip. <laughs> Half my drive mates there lost their kits and dinos. Time to regroup. So it looked like the turrets were off, but there were still uh, three or four heavies there that were on. Uh, we come here to regroup in Triple Waterfall. So I find like 60 element just sitting in the and the obby at red up. So I pull my tech suit out of upload and bounce around and have some fun. There's like six or seven dudes just sitting at blue ob with gigas and a small little turret tower. I went to go scout, see what I could do. There's one guy on a giga in the water approaching. Gotta respect the play. So we're just soaking those last couple of heavy turrets there with our snow owl. Wanna see if they left anything in the vault or the transmitter.
So unfortunately, the only loot we got from that little fob was just the ammo from the turrets, a little bit of ARB. But then we come check out the castle. This looks like everyone has left. And we find a couple vaults full of flak and some structure and a couple other things. So we take that, get it off server, back to base. Alright guys, I'm going to end this one here. Next one we go for a big raid on a shadow cave, so you're definitely going to want to catch that. Before you exit out, if you could take a second and hit that subscribe button, it really does help me out a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please let me know what you're thinking in a comment. I'm always looking for ways to improve my gameplay and my content. Hope everyone's doing well. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.